it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Thank you for joining. Today we're going to be recalibrating um, the Cricut for Prints and Cut. So I've been having issues with that. But before we get started on that, if you're not subscribed already, please do. I appreciate all the support, whether it's from liking to commenting, asking questions, asking for a special request, and also, of course, subscribing. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Um, okay, so let's get back to this. This is my second time doing it. So what happens is, and I have it right here. Um, I've been cutting stickers, and I love my stickers. I love using Neato labels for my stickers. They look, they're glossy. They look like store-bought uh, stickers, except that recently, not because of Neato labels, but my Cricut stopped cutting perfectly around my sticker. So if I cut 20 stickers, sometimes... 10 of them are a little bit off center. So I start, I needed to recalibrate it, but I haven't. And what I was doing instead was I was doing my own workaround, right? I was doing only circles or doing really simple stuff that it didn't matter if it was slightly off center. But I'm about to do the those cute little Amazon and UPS boxes and I need it to cut. So I figured this would be a good time to also do a tutorial. So what happens is right now the screen that you see this is after clicking on, um, some people call this the hamburger because it's like the bun, the middle, and the bottom bun. So when you click on this, there's a section for you to uh, select calibrate. When you go to calibrate, you can calibrate a couple different things. There were three things total, and I can't remember right now. I think one was like the blade, probably, you know, slot A, slot B, and then the print and cut. So we did the print and cut. So this is basically the first page when you go to select um calibrate for print then cut you need to print out this sheet basically so this has a bunch of lines uh numbers and uh the alphabet and then a big rectangle in the middle it's going to do three uh three cuts for us to for to get our like uh to record the results so i've already recorded the results what happens is they cut the first middle box okay and it'll ask you if the box cut correctly. In our case, in my case, the box did not cut correctly. There was a section where you can see, um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it missed the black line completely. So when I said no, it went to go cut the numbers one through 21 and A through U. And what you're looking for at that point is you're looking for the cut to be directly on the line. So then you pick which one, and then they'll, they'll know, then, you know, it'll hopefully calibrate. And now we're on the second one. So we've, I've done the test. I'm going to walk you through it. But now it's going to redo the test to see that it's accurate. So I'm going to click continue. And it's already loaded. I'm going to hit the go, and I'll come right back. So what is important about this is... Right now, it's going to cut that little, uh, the little square in the middle. Um, you want to make sure that when you put this on your mat, that you put it in your top left corner. That is for any print, then cut project. Even though, in my mind, if you have your registration mark and it's reading it, I feel like I should be able to put it anywhere on this mat. You read the registration marks, then you should know where to cut. But that is not the case. <laughs> you actually need to put it in the top left corner because I've tested that out. It does not work well. So you want to put it in the top left corner at the zero zero mark. Put it down. Use your brayer and um, and then let it cut. So right now it's cutting. It's reading and it's cutting that middle thing. Um, I will say when it asked me the question about where my cut lines were it was very confusing as to what they wanted they said did it cut in the middle so the middle of what the middle of the two bars or the middle of each bar right so it actually wants to cut on the black line so just know that that's always the case all right so here is our first it finished cutting the square um now this is really important do not unload the mat. So I'm actually going to walk over there to check. What you want to examine right now is you want to examine the cut lines around the small square in the middle. You want 
the line to touch the black. It should be cutting on the black, okay? So I will be right back. I'm gonna take my thumb in case I need my, um, my light, my flashlight. Oh, and I'm so excited. It cut on the line this time because it did not cut the line last time because as you can see, you can actually see the black. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but you, I could see two full black lines out of the four, right, that make up the square. So here, does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? Yes, it did. So that's a good sign. We're getting close. That's right. So now we're going to click continue. It's going to cut the lines here for the numbers and the letters. So it's going to be a little while. I mean, not that long, but um, let's talk about needle labels. Right now it's 25% off. So um, my discount is 25% off. So that doesn't help you any. But if you use my affiliate code, I still get a little kickback. So I would appreciate the support there. But um, I would buy it. The Black Friday sale was the best one because everything was on sale and then you could use my additional 25% off on that. So that was the best, best price that I have seen on their site. Occasionally they also run a 30% off. So you can kind of wait, but you know, 25% or 30% off, it's it's 5%, right? It's But it's not that much. I would just buy it. Um, I love the glossy white ones. The glossy white ones are waterproof. So I will put them on my daughter's thermos and I just use it for stickers. And I also use it as stickers for my cake toppers. So when an image is so um, detailed that I'm not gonna be able to replicate it or replicate it well or the amount of time I wanna spend on it with paper, I would rather just print than cut. So all right, I'm gonna go look at this really quickly. And I'm going to take a picture because I need, we're going to calibrate it right now. So give me one second. All right. So I know you're going to have to trust me when I, when we go to calibrate this. So I took a picture and what they want is when we examine the top row, the top row is numbers one through 21. We're going to select the pick list and which ones have cuts closest to the center. So now we're, I'm gonna basically zoom in on my phone to see which cuts are right on the center. And number, mm, number nine I think is still best. So I'm gonna select nine. Nine has the line right there. And on the right, I'm gonna look at my next picture. Um, I think it's J. So I'm going to go down and select J. J has the line, the cut line right on the black. And so I've selected nine and J and I'm going to click continue. And this is the confirmation cut. So the first time around, it didn't cut the confirmation cut because it wasn't calibrated. So it then made me reprint it and go back. And that's where we caught up on the video. So now let's, let me go see. It says unload the map. I'm going to unload it. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am happy with the cut. So, all right, we're good. So we've calibrated it. You can see here. I'm going to take pictures. So go to my post on Instagram. It will also be a blog post on my, um, on my website, theuselesscrafter.com. Uh, the only thing is, let's see. Um, the blog post always is like a, there's a, like a week delay, a lag time because I have to put everything together and then post it. So you'll see that, but then you can see all the pictures up close, super easy to calibrate your, your machine. So let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you want to see anything else, but I'm about to, my next tutorial is printing those UPS and Amazon boxes, those cute little ones. Um, so we'll see if it works. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. Happy holidays.